And we have breaking news out of the federal hearing in D.C. concerning the special counsel case on election interference. Let's get right to Ken Delaney and with the latest. Ken. Jose, in a stark repudiation uh, of Donald Trump's attorneys, Judge Tanya Chutkin has set a trial date for March 4th of next year in this case. That's the date jury selection would begin. That's just two months later than what the prosecution had asked for. Uh, but it's in a world away from the April 2026 timeline that Trump's attorneys had wanted. And immediately after she made her ruling, Trump attorney John Laro put on the record, he said, we will not be able to provide adequate representation. So there's no doubt in our judgment that this trial date is inconsistent with President Trump's right to due process and effective assistance of counsel. So laying the groundwork for an appeal there. But legal experts say this is really the judge's call. This is a tough issue to get overturned in the appeals court. Obviously, the Trump team is going to try to do that. But um, Judge Tanya Chutkin heard from both sides in this hearing, and she heard the Trump team make an impassioned plea that there's just so much material and discovery here, so many witness interviews, so many uh, transcripts of phone calls and emails and communications that they needed years and years to go through all this material. But the prosecution, the special counsel, countered that that just wasn't the case, that a lot of this evidence had already been made public in the January 6th committee hearings. A lot of it came from Donald Trump's own files and devices and, and were witnesses he was well familiar with. And the judge really flatly sided with the prosecution here. And both the prosecution and the judge said the public has an interest in seeing this case go to trial rather quickly. A prosecutor, Molly Gaston, made a point of saying that uh, look, that Donald Trump tweets every day attacking uh, people involved in this case. Even at, she, she pointed out attacking the people of uh, the District of Columbia, which make up the jury pool. And so she said that the public had a right to see this case go to trial as quickly as possible. And Judge Tanya Chutkin, it appears, agrees with that and has set a March 4th, 2024 trial date, Jose.